Hey, how is it going? Today is 18 of February, uh, Sunday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of opportunities are available out there. Uh, I was taking a look today in today's videos, I was taking a look at uh, Wales, right? Uh, let's progress to Hong Kong, right? There's a lot of information and a lot of ground to cover. I'm not entirely sure if we would be able to cover everything in uh, just one video that might be important, right? But that would be. Well, I'm looking to accomplish the reason that I had a conference call about the process or so we had the chance to discuss of uh, how to expand into you uh, Will I be able to water? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how we can establish our operations in Hong Kong when it comes to UK and Hong Kong there might be some opportunity side or is that necessarily there would be a lot of friction of how to do it, which is great uh, by how the process itself. Uh, if we can do it within 40 hours, it's something I'm looking to do. Can we reduce time frame? Uh, I've been told that expanding in places like China can take up to six months, perhaps even longer than that. Uh, it just uh, how complex it can be, right? So Hong Kong, can we do it in uh, 48 hours? Let, let, let's see if we can accomplish that. Uh, in uh, uh, today's video, not necessarily uh, I would be able to do it, but at least I could begin taking a look at it or trying to understand of what the uh, process can look like. Uh, there's an advisor, right? And that's something I have to chart to you. Uh, the person would guide me, so to say, right? Uh, as of now, coming to so I have a point of contact. And I've been advised that uh, when it comes to facilities, most likely there's uh, business centers or science centers. And uh, then securing finance, most likely we're going to be taking a look at the research and development work. Very similar to Italy. So in Milan, I have uh, taken part in some of those competitions. There will be a very similar process in Hong Kong now. <laughs> And we're going to be taking a look at government's funding schemes and support and let's try to take a look at those and how many of those are available. Hong Kong government spares no effort. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and it begins, uh, and it begins. Uh, the people are just losing me. They, they just lost me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's progress. <laughs> With a commitment to over uh, the Hong Kong uh, dollars, right? That would be a hundred billion. Okay, would that be a lot? <laughs> Perhaps it has uh, stepped uh, strapped up finding support for uh, development uh, uh, by developing. Okay, okay. Uh, I and T infrastructure promoting research and development, research and development, pooling talent, support and enterprise, and promoting reindustrialization. Right. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, it might be someone uh, locally who have written this presentation. Perhaps <laughs> if if it's a local person, I'm not that mad. But <laughs> Oh, well, I'm looking at it. So, uh, as I mentioned right now, I'm going to be looking for Hong Kong Science and Technology Parks. And uh, I'm looking to reach out to those and establish a partnership with those. And uh, let's see how I can do it. And uh, when it comes to grants, if they are any, that would be great if uh, government would give a problem and give finance. That would be ideal, right? So, it's something I'm looking for. There's so many different ways of how to do it. Uh, uh, I was taking a look at finances, right, and uh, it's very similar prices. So we're taking a look at uh, somewhere around 10 billion, just over 10 billion pounds, right, uh, which, which is great. Uh, if infrastructure is there, it's always great. So government is taking a look at the, some of those opportunities, right, and how to continuously reinvest, right. Then I was taking a look at uh, research and development investment. Uh, the graph that I was taking a look at uh, based on GDP, right? I think the highest one was about six or uh, somewhere around six was Israel, right? Based on GDP. So 
so I don't know about Hong Kong. I don't think of the was the, was there Hong Kong? I can't remember. But at, at the top was Israel, right? But perhaps because of the population size and how much of that population and the entire budget was allocated, so then they say a hundred billion. I'm just trying to match against uh, real data. Would that be impossible even? <laughs> I don't think that uh, there are so many people. I think it's uh, close to perhaps seven million people living there. Uh, we, briefly, we can take a look at the expenditure, just uh, cross-reference if that's actually what's happening in Hong Kong. Uh, that would be 7.4 million people living in Hong Kong. That's what I thought. So 7.4 million and uh, budget that was relocated, research and development, right? <laughs> I would like to question that. So that would be 100 billion. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look at the based on GDP uh, from 7.4 million of uh, population of Hong Kong. How much uh, percentage-wise of GDP was allocated to that? Uh, information that I managed to find that would be uh, close to 30 billion, right? 30 billion, and they're looking to increase that up to uh, 100. I don't know. That would be a massive increase. If they're actually gonna do it. That, that's massive increase, but perhaps that might be a new set targets by the government. I, I would say it's close to 30, perhaps based on the population size. There might be, there might be increasing uh, dramatically some of those numbers. All right, right. I'm just questioning 100 uh, billion. Would that be reasonable? Uh, if the 30 is one percent, they're looking to increase the expenditure of the entire GDP up to three percent. Um, that seems uh, a very ambitious goal. Uh, briefly, right, uh, otherwise there might be a mess, right, where to begin. Uh, someone, some would say we not necessarily would give you finance until you have a company. And someone would say, why would you start a company if there's no finance? <laughs> so, who comes the first? <laughs> so it's kind of questionable. I, usually I would start with finance, but if anything, let's try to understand the process of setting up a company. And what would be required, right? So that would be potentially three steps. First one, decide the company type and name. It might be different compared to uh, England, right? Uh, it depends, right? And so from there, progressing into incorporating a company and from there, it's a business. And within the requirements, we need to understand uh, what would be required to register it. I have published a book that would be Livestock Enterprise and where to begin when it comes to establishing your company and starting the business. Uh, some of those areas uh, that I'm looking to share within the book, uh, that would be perhaps a lot of examples as well as uh, how to set uh, and or structure your goals when it comes to financial metrics and within this book I would be taking a look at where many people would begin from zero to a first milestone that would be 10,000 dollars, euros, pounds, and how you can achieve this particular milestone. Uh, that's my main focus within this book. And uh, I personally believe that would be worth many people would begin and what information would be most important for people to get to know before doing anything, right? And uh, uh, I'm looking to share this book with as many people as I can. If something yourself you're interested in, there's going to be a QR code in the corner company's website below. I have uh, published this book in uh, over close to 40 different languages, so if so some of you are interested, so you're seeing this book in different languages, feel free to reach out to me. Quickly, right, before doing anything, most likely I'm going to be taking a look at finances, right, but either way, myself, since I'm reading it, might as well perhaps share that information with others of register a company and some of the processes and how much it can cost, right? Uh, as of now, I haven't done it. Uh, everything in a different language. <laughs> and some of the dates are in 2021. Uh, since it's 2021, so it's three years old. So there might be some changes in the fees and many things, right? But uh, prices, I think it's reasonable prices. It's about uh, 25 $20, right? Twenty-seven dollars, somewhere around that range, right? Between twenty and uh, up to twenty-seven dollars, right? So they're very reasonable prices. This is how much they are. If you would ask me, 
the prices should be about ten dollars but either way <laughs> that was just an example of how much it can cost but i don't know all the details right because they might have additional processes as well as insurances all those kind of things right uh, as well as secretary or additional uh, things that might come to the new artist and company right uh, let's close the next uh, that thanks for watching see you next one